Do -do 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 -do. All right. Professional double. Professional two times raw fish product. Am I right or am I right? Let us break the ice. Come, show me your power. Right, let's see how this goes. This is winner's round two, I believe. So let's update that. Professional raw fish to the factor of two. <laughs> yeah. All right, Sushi's got Bo stuck in the corner right now, going for a lot of hard knockdowns. Mo finally has the opportunity to tech, immediately techs in place, trying to get out. Elva actually has a pretty hard time getting out of the corner, but if they land a back throw, now they have all the space to work with. They don't need to approach. I'm gonna get air to air, trying to TK Icicle at the wrong time. Sushi out here, about to do this combo. Already used the ground bounce, didn't pay attention, gonna get whiff punished for it. Corners themselves. I was gonna get a nice opening here. What do we got? Both players sitting on two bars exactly. Both these characters have really fast meter gain. Nice air dash backwards to avoid the, uh... The icicle. It's pretty smart. But not well enough. And I think Mo also push blocked at the same time, which might have been a mistake if they wanted uh, Sushi to get hit by that icicle. Ooh, the trade at round start. Mo was looking for an air dash, Sushi was looking for whatever else, and they traded. Ah, the cross up. It's route. Mm. Ah, trying to 6A. The uh, difficult part about fighting Tianwo is that you can't always react to her air dashes if you want to anti-air them. If she does them perfectly, they're too fast to uh, anti-air in reaction, especially if you have a slower anti-air like Velvet. Velvet has 9 frames, and the fastest anti-airs are 8 frames, and it's difficult with the fast ones. Ooh, gonna get accidental crash. Oh, <laughs> what a trade. 5C and 2C. Ooh, my goodness. Alright. Gonna trade with the EP. Just trying to go in with that uh, 60 sushi. With the aggressive play. Look at this aggressive dragon. Is there a better way to get around her air dashes? Um, your only real answers are preemptive anti-airs or whiff punishing the landing frames. There's no other real way to punish them aside from just not being close enough for them to work. But yeah, it's mostly reads. She can do slower air dashes, like she can wait and press the button, and that actually gives you time to react. But if she does an instant one forwards and she does a normal immediately, uh, it's like, it'll hit your crouching hurt box in like 27 frames or something like that. 26 frames, I think. And you have to react within like 17 frames to punish that. And the game is designed with human reaction time being 18 frames at max. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're unreactable by the standards of the game designers. Ooh. That's strong on the cross up, but Sushi did not convert out of it. Oh, he's got a nice life lead right now. Ooh, gonna hit them with the jump A into 2A. Jump A has so little block stun on it. Nice anti air. Hmm. Somehow that jump C dodged that 2A. A little upsetting. Ooh, gonna fly over the 6A. Hit the cross up with punish. What was that reset? Alright, I see. Let's see how it is. Do not let defeat be the end. Round two. Fight. Alright. 
Starting things off strong here. Gets a hard knockdown. What's the mix? Gonna trade with a 6A. Gets the cross up. Uh, round 5 winners is top 8. I posted it in the Discord server. Alright, we're gonna see a level 2 from Sushi here. Taking them far away from the corner so they can get this kind of shenanigans going. Uh, see, the weird thing about level 2 is that if you're flying and you perform an air normal, your flight doesn't get cancelled like it usually does, so it completely messes up a lot of Tianwa players. Alright, Sushi takes it. 2 go. Well fought, but not well enough. Tianwa wins. All right. 